Hey, I want to show you how to program Plucky FM bass with Microfreak, and here's preview of the sound. With some variations just to give you a general idea what can be done. This type of Plucky FM bass sound became very popular in the last 10 years, especially in house music, but it can be easily used in other genres as well. And it has this kind of metallic feel in common to FM synthesis in general. Anyway, so let's start from a neat preset and let's switch to FM synthesis just from the start. On Microfreak it's called a 2 operator FM. Yeah, let's record simple bass line we will use for our sound. Switch octave down. And I can play it manually or I will better live record melody so I can focus on tweaking the settings. For this, let's switch to sequencer mode with shift sequencer button. And also, let's double default sequencer length, which is 16 notes. For this, let's go to utility, preset, sequencer length, and set it to 32. Now I can record bass line with next buttons, play pattern and push record button and live record what I play. Sadly, there are no any metronome on Microfreak at this point, and this is kind of a big challenge to get into correct size without metronome. And I hope Arturia will add it in some future updates, but for now let's use remote metronome. Also let's record full length, not another plucky like this one. We will use this additional length for our low bass and control the exact length with decay knob. Remove sustain from the notes and attack and set decay about two seconds. So now we have our basic melody and let's switch to oscillator section. Without deep talks about FM synthesis, I will just briefly showcase FM synthesis on Microfreak. So basically, we have two operators here like A and B, and operator B can modulate the wave of operator A and also operator B can self-modulate in some kind of feedback loop. For all this stuff we have three settings here. First knob is radio and it can be seen as frequency change of operator B. You don't set exact value but Razer you set the radio to operator A frequency. So when you change operator A frequency, it will also change the frequency of B. Adding more radio creates more rich content in the middle and high frequencies. For now, let's set it to the 50. Second knob is about how much modulation we want to introduce in our sound. So it can be seen as some kind of wet dry knob. Again, bigger value set richer wave shape. Let's put it to the middle as well. And last knob is about how much self-modulation we have on B operator. Let's set it to 50. Next, main ingredient of our sound is amount modulation. Basically, we want it quickly morph from this modulated sound to sort of plain bass. For this purpose, let's use cycling envelope section, not amplitude envelope, which we also can use, and it will follow our amplitude, but let's use separate one, so we will have more precise control over modulation. Let's switch to envelope, mod, remove attack and sustain, and set a decay about. Now we can modulate with cycling envelope our timbre knob, which is amount of FM synthesis. Let's find intersection of cycling envelope timbre and set the value about 40. Now you can hear this distinct FM bass sound. We have fundament of our sound and you can tweak the settings in the way it feels 
it fit best for you. For example, you can use filter cutoff or better modulate it with amplitude envelope. So it will have more pleasant form. Also, you can cut the bass part with decay knob like this. Or maybe set different amount, creates more deeper sound or more brighter one. You can play with radio. So you can introduce some randomness to notes. It is always very fun to play with it. now and if I will say for myself I really like how it sounds and definitely going to use it in my music hope you like it as well stay safe bass